Hey guys, Christian Perello here, ChristianPerello.net. Today I'm going to make a video of how to remove the background from an image. Now I know I've done this in videos in the past, but I haven't done it this way. I'm going to do it a little different of a method. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my quick selection tool like I have in the past, but I'm also going to incorporate using a uh, layer mask. And this way, when you use the layer mask, it prevents you from, in turn, screwing up your picture. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, the first thing that you want to do here is I already got rid of my little log icon. And the, the, the way that you do that is you just double click on the image, and a dialog box will open up right here, and you just click on OK. And that will just get rid of that. So the next thing that you want to do, of course, is make a duplicate layer. You don't necessarily need to do this because we're going to be using a layer mask, but uh, it's always good practice to go ahead and, and, and do that. And just hide that layer. Just click on a little eyeball right there and we'll get rid of it. So the first thing that you want to do is come over here and make sure that you have your quick selection tool checked. All right, Grab your quick selection tool and let's go around the outside of the image. Let's grab all this green right here. Of course it's going to capture some of the um, uh, some of the hair, but um, that's okay. Uh, you can uh, revert that by holding down your Option key on a Mac, Alt on a PC, and just go over the hair right here, wherever it's in, and uh, just go all the way around. You don't have to be perfect because we're going to cover that step shortly using the um, Refine Edge tool. <clears throat> Alright, once we got that mostly taken care of, next thing you want to do is you want to inverse it. So you go to Select and Inverse. Now what this does is it selects the person and not the background, which is what you want when you want to work with Refine Edge. So after you do that, you click on Refine Edge. And what you want to do is click on Smart Radius, and I like to set it to about 0.3 and just go ahead and go around the edge of the hair and that's it just the edge of the hair I feel like I'm about to sneeze That's about good. Okay, so once you have that, all you have to do is click OK. And after that, next thing you want to do is go back to select. Sorry about that. Inverse. Make sure you click on your little um, arrow icon right here. And then click delete. And that goes ahead and gets rid of the uh, background. All right, command control D to deselect. And now I'm going to go ahead and make a layer mask. All right, once I have my layer mask, grab my brush tool and make sure that I have black as my foreground color. All right, and just ever so slightly, just go around, get rid of that green from the background.
All right, that looks pretty good right there. So, you know, I, I probably missed a couple of spots, and the only way that you can do that is just go ahead and make another layer. And so what you do is click on the layer, and you put it right there in the middle. All right? After you do that, what you want to do next is go ahead and grab your paintbrush tool. I'm sorry, your paint bucket tool. And uh, make sure you got white as your uh, foreground color there. And go ahead and click on that. Look at that. All right, so, I mean, it's not beautiful. Of course, you can go back to your layer mask. Grab your uh, brush tool, and you can go ahead and you know just clean those areas up. Of course, I didn't do this to make it all pretty. I did it as a teaching example. So that is another method of getting rid of, rid of the background in an image and I mean you, you can make it look like a uh, pretty good studio portrait as long as you take your time and, and you know zoom in a little bit get those areas that that you could have missed if you didn't zoom in and um, you can get a pretty good portrait looks like you took it in a studio but you just took out the background and threw a white background in there all right, so I hope uh, you guys uh, learned something. If you have any questions, of course, you can contact me at christianperello at me.com. Be sure to check out my website, christianperello.net, and uh, talk to you guys next time. See ya.